My plan was simple, whip up a batch, slice up a piece, give it to my pups, he'd think it was a normal brownie, and boom, success. So I got to work, Google, how do I make magic brownies? Suddenly, my legs collapse. I slam down on the sofa, I peer up at the ceiling confused, and I see it spinning like I'm in a tornado. Sleep was impossible, and finally, I turn my own home. God? Now, I don't play with God. I believe deeply. So I'm not going to repeat my prayer because I'm not going to lie. I feel a little bit ashamed of what I said. But the general gist of the prayer was basically just asking God if he could end it all for me. Now, I appreciated that the rest of my life would probably be insanely awesome, but it was so unbelievably painful. I just wanted it to end. I've never felt anything like that in my whole life. And I didn't demand death or anything. I just basically said, hey, if I'm going to die in a year anyways or, or become a terrible person or something, if that's your will, now could be an ideal time to check out Earth and left it in God's hands. Sometime later, I hear the door thunk open. I hear my dad approaching. Sweetie, are you okay? What happened? Do you know? Move your nose if that's a yes and your eyebrows if that's a no. Do you want anything? Some ginger tea perhaps? Maybe some I lemon? I want you to shut up. Please. Jeez, just trying to help. Sheesh. I go back to trying to sleep, but after a couple minutes, my ears prick up because I hear rustling in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. He was eating the brownies. Now I was at a wild fork in the road because if I told him that there were magic brownies, then all of this would have been for nothing. I wanted to die and it would be for absolutely nothing. But on the other hand, I wanted to die. I wouldn't have wished this feeling on my worst enemy and that was my dad in there heading towards the same fate as me. I love him to death. So after having debated for a little too long, if I'm being honest, I croak out. <laughs> yeah? What? Are you eating? Uh, just, just, just some of your lovely brownies. How much? Just, just a tiny piece. I wanted to see if it was poison so I could protect Shh. you. Shut it. How much exactly? A two centimeter square. Oh, thank goodness. The weed brownies. That's why I'm like this. Oh, whoops. Now, had my pops actually added two centimeters square? Oh, no, of course not. He would have to have a gun against his head to resist brownies. So now he was looking at the condition I was in, knowing full well that he'd had a lot more than what he'd said, and he was a tad worried. Suddenly, I was jolted awake by the sound of shutters closing. I look out the window. Light. The clock said 7 p.m. The brownies were hitting. I hear him collapse onto his bed and pass out, and finally, I sleep deeply. The next thing I knew, I heard crashing. My eyes eased open. Morning. Pops was getting ready for work. I look at the ceiling. Still. I rolled over, light as a feather, it was over. And I felt amazing, better than I'd ever felt before. I'm sure objectively I felt awful, but compared to yesterday, I was Superman. I sprung up an angelic smile lighting up my face. Father, good morning to you, sir. How are you feeling, bud? Everything hurts. Ah, my dear father had slept through the worst of it, which was great, but it meant that he didn't have the same pain to compare it to like I did. So now he just felt like dog shit. So he trundles off to work and I do whatever till he gets back in the afternoon, crashes through the door and curls up in a ball on the floor. Nice day. Everyone was getting angry at me for messing everything up and then I said my son had made weed brownies and they were all laughing at me and calling me a pothead. <laughs> Now I know I got my dark mind from my mom, but apparently I got my stupidity from my dad because not a month passes before he completely forgets his whole experience. Sorry, no, completely changes the memories and remembers being totally unaffected by the brownies instead. He then grabs the brownies from the freezer, actually does eat a two centimeter square this time and dies inside. Still traumatized to this day, not even joking. Now to finish off, let's do some math. The magic was four times stronger than normal. My bro used to have this much magic brownie when he'd have some. And I had this much, plus a fat spoon of pure magic butter, which was about a sixth of the total butter I used for the whole batch, plus several spoons of butter, which adds up to a number I don't really want to calculate. Needless to say, my third warning was my final warning because it's stuck and I have never, ever gone anywhere near that stuff again.